Okay. That's not what we need early on. It's completely useless. Okay, it's gonna be double and Drago Egg. Into Haunt. Into... I don't know, eggs. I do value the... These... These... Different type of card games. I, I think fun. I think that's fun. Like, and I tried out many, 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 many different ones. And uh, my my favorite would be actually uh well I can say well Gwent is one of my favorites. Maybe older Gwent and uh, Duelist. Maybe older Duelist. That was a pretty cool game as well. Not sure if you played that. I played uh, the Elder Scrolls Legends, and I fall asleep while I was doing the tutorial twice. Uh, that wasn't my favorite part, but the game itself is pretty good. My problem was with Elder Scrolls Legends, even though I think it's a good game. It just, it just, it was a better Hearthstone for me. Is the tutorial notorious for being boring? I don't know. I, I'm not kidding. It, it was not the best. There's a unique deck in uh, the Elder Scrolls Legends. There, there's a free mana card that says if you have every color in the game on your board, win the game. How many colors are in the game? Six, seven? No, no, it's not a Hearthstone. Five colors. The Elder Scrolls Engine is a good game, but I'm actually a little surprised that uh, Hearthstone remains so dominant. Everyone tried to get a little piece of Hearthstone, and I suppose they got a little piece of Hearthstone, but Hearthstone remains so goddamn dominant. Despite offering, I mean, an okay gameplay experience, I'm not gonna go against it, but it's a highly RNG gameplay experience. Maybe maybe that, that is what draws in the casual market, and they were right all along. It does certainly seem so. Even though, like, ultimately, like, longer, well, long-time players might get bored with it. I, I certainly played a lot of Hearthstone. But then I like, was like, nah. If you played the Elder Scrolls enough, uh, you will see that it's not a Hearthstone at all. It just, because it's popular, more people bring more people. Yeah. It was just not different enough, like, compared to Gwent, and uh, I just wanted to get away from Hearthstone, and the Elder Scrolls Legends was a, step in, was a step in the right direction, but like, Gwent was completely different. So, yeah. Okay, yes, similar tricks to me. Okay. So play a harpy egg in the back. Actually in the front. Then the baya in the back. In the other scrolls legends, you get punished if you hit face without a reason. I know that. So hitting face is part of the plan. Uh, when I tried it out, uh how does it work? Every five health, you get an extra card, something like that. That's how it works. So you wanna finish off your opponent in like one round. One of the worst things you can do is that you just deal insignificant damage. And you give them a card. Let's say you, they have like zero card, then you give them an extra card. Now they have two cards and a chance to fight back.
Your blood will warm my bones. Every single okay person fights for round one. Also, there's a shadow lane. I know I play that. So you have a, a shot if your opponent control the board in the late game. Or prophecy. They play it immediately. Oh. They do? Oh, yeah, yeah. It can be played immediately. In certain cases, but yeah. Is he playing my deck? It does look like it. The only one that didn't fail, uh, kind of spectacularly, in the recent memory, uh, uh, when it comes to card games, as far as I know, uh, was Runeterra. So, like, card games, it, it seems like when Hearthstone came out, it just uh, led to a lot of card games. And uh, now, basically, most studios are completely gave up. And now it's... No, it's not gonna really happen. Oh my god. Okay, maybe do an operator. But... If you hit their face and they draw a prophecy, they can play it in your turn. I, I know, I know. This is all I got. We're not playing more. Fuck. We can get away with playing the Plague Maiden, and we would get 4 points and 5 points. So this is technically a 12. We cannot play the Bar Guest. Is uh, The Other Scrolls Legends your favorite game? I mean, favorite card game? What really bothers me and what I'm really looking forward to when it comes to card games is that finally there's going to be a card game that says, you know, fuck it, fuck the grind, fuck the whole thing, and that's, that's not a thing anymore. That's kind of what I expected Artifact to be, because Steam could get away with that. But they actually went in the complete different direction and they, they, uh, well... That was a mistake. Yeah, that, that's the annoying part, is that, you know, I, I played Gwent, I have stuff in Gwent, I played Hearthstone, I have stuff in Hearthstone, but I'm just... I just don't feel like I really... I'm okay with... Uh, getting into another card game. Because I recently got into Runeterra, and it was like, okay, let, let's try out Runeterra. But the problem is, it just... I, I play it for like, I don't know, like a month now. Uh, now and then, and and it's probably gonna take me at least three more months to get access to maybe not all decks, but like most decks. Now, always the Gwent guy. Gwent is respect, Gwent is fair. 800 for legendary. Okay, let's pass. But I do want to see you. That's, that's why I was a huge fan. Hey Adam, you ever played the Civ games? Or just got uh, just got Civ 6 after playing uh, 5 Forever and it's pretty good with the expansions. I kind of want to get into it. I have to say, Mardo, they are a little bit intimidating. And I do like, like to think quite a bit. I played Civ games... I'm not... I definitely played C3 for... 
five. I tried out six. Okay, we need to be a little bit. More careful here. That would be nice to play it twice. It's not the best. It's not not the worst either. Okay. Now seven percent of my grand collection is premium, and I don't didn't pay for shit. Oh, come on, just bragging now. I'm just the peasant standard guy. He shouldn't be able to kill this, right? You would have... You'd have it if you craft every premium in the game? When uh, Homecoming hit? Yes! Yes, you're right! I didn't do that. Because when Homecoming hit, uh, you could craft premiums with scrap, but they later changed their mind. I don't know why. I know. I I you know I don't I don't really care for premiums that much. I this is something I kind of condition myself uh, to behave in such a way that I don't care too much about cosmetics. And hear me out. It is because every single game out there try to use psychological tricks on you. To try to make you give a shit about spending money. And, uh, yeah, you can make that choice. But ultimately, I think you need to think, think a lot about it. For my rules, I never spend money for any kind of power. That includes card packs. I never bought a card pack in my life. Cosmetics are kind of a toss-up. Yeah, before you could craft premium and scrap it for powder. Mm. To be fair, I can't really complain. I ma mainly got my... Okay, let's just do... I mainly got my scrap collection because before Homecoming came out, they decided on one weekend that every single chest should have five legendaries in it. I don't know what the fuck they were smoking and one of them was a premium. I was not even playing the game, but I was like, okay, I'll come back for that. So I spent my, I don't know, scraps to buy. Um, buy a few kegs. Premiums in Gwent is unique compared to other card games. Gwent premiums deserve to be paid for. I think that's a personal choice, but I definitely agree that uh, they look amazing.
We will need to have Kayron on the board to play a Glusty. Actually, we may want to do a Jotun here. He has more stuff than me. Okay. And we got to go. Okay. Uh, bye. Fidan1. Can I call you Dan? <laughs> Sometimes you guys have different, difficult to pronounce names. Gent is certainly awesome. One thing, if I could change one thing, I would not change one damn thing about the quality of the content they release. I would not change anything. How they do things. But one thing I would change is just get more people involved so they can release more content. That would be the one thing I change. If they can afford that. God. Okay, fair enough. Oh, he has the biggest guy now, so we can use Bar Guest. Before we play Matahari, we have to eat Penitent. What decks you guys are playing? That's what I want to know. I'm just derping around with the red deck. And this guy is kind of doing the same. <laughs> Which I really like. Did he change a damn thing about my deck? He put in the Kikimore Worker. I mean... I guess he can get some value with the Indrago Larvas. He seems to be just straight up copied my deck, which is fine. I encourage it. have two consumes. Oh. It's a bit late for that, but sure. That's the lowest card ghost card he has. Is it just gonna give me rats? I can counter it. Actually, this would be an okay time to play Glusty. Funny enough. 
We would deny to and drag a larvas. We would only have a 10 point glossy, but we would deny two larvas. Should I do it? The alternative is that we play the Plague Maiden, eat the Plague Maiden, then he's gonna go up by. That's effectively a 6 point swing. And this is effectively a 6 point swing too. But if I play the Maiden first, hear me out. I play the Maiden, we get 7 rats. And that's gonna be a 7 point swing for Glusty at most. And this way we're also denying points. So this way, we denied those guys 2 points. Plus we got 4 for Glusty, 6 points. Plus, we denied every additional point, which is probably would have been at least plus four. So, that was kind of like a, a ten point. We will be together. Move. Of course, if you know about all these rats. Still not completely hopeless because we got the beast. Okay, I can play this for seven. So I'm gonna eat the bridge trolls because when I play the plague mate then. We're gonna have a full first row anyway. And maybe we shouldn't do that. But this beast is gonna go up in points. That's not the best. You can't even play it. With respect. What an awesome deck you're playing, mister. GG! Okay, if he plays the Plague Maiden, his Plague Maiden, then we should every single time. Uh, wait. But... Making a decision, if he doesn't play the Plague Maiden, I think my choice is justified. Well played.